Hello, my name is Linda Chambers. I'm going to show you a short video on IIS. It is Internet Information Services. It's formerly called Internet Information Server. It's a web server application with feature extension modules. It was created by Microsoft and it is to be used on Microsoft Windows operating systems. The features, which are modules that are also called extensions, you can add and remove them individually. The, some of the features are HTTP modules, security modules, content modules, compression modules, cacheing modules, logging and diagnostic modules. There is an IIS version. It's available as a standalone freeware server and it can be installed on Windows XP with Service Pack 3. And the extensions for the IIS version 7.5, which is for the latest version of um, Windows, operating system is these the extensions that are available are the FTP publishing service, the administration pack, application request routing, database manager, media services, URL rewrite module, web DAV, web development tool. So now I'm going to do a little short demonstration to show you um, how to install the IIS on your computer. So, it's a feature. You do not need to go online and download anything. You would go to the Start button, and then you go to the Control Panel, <clears throat> and then you need to go into Programs. Now, because IIS is not automatically installed on Windows, when you install Windows, it's not a feature that is installed at the time by default. So, you'll need to go in and add it. Okay, so once you get um, control panel, you go to programs, and you do programs and features. Then you go over here and go turn Windows features on or off. And then you're going to have a permissions window where you've got to say continue or OK. And it takes a second for it to load. I had the other window up too. Um, wow. Okay. Right here it is. I'm sorry. Okay. This window will eventually load whenever you are trying to install it. It takes a second for all of these programs to load. Now, the programs that you need, the software that you need to be installing on your system is going to be under the information internet information services folder so you would click the plus sign over here to expand the folder to see the contents within it in the web management tools folder press the plus button sign and expand that folder you need to make sure you have the IIS management console box checked and the IIS management service box checked. I have other boxes checked also. You don't have to have those. Under the worldwide web services folder, if you expand it, the subfolders within that folder, the ones you really need to add, I have them, all of them added, but you don't have to. Some of them that you do have to add is the common HTTP features, um, health, uh, the health and diagnostics, subfolder and security subfolder. So once you have those checked and selected then you're going to press OK and when you do it's going to take a second for it to install. Now I already have these installed on my computer so I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to go in and show you real quick what this IIS management console looks like and I have a shortcut to it here on my computer. Let me go ahead and let you know though when you get done installing, when the computer gets done installing those features, you are going to have to allow your computer to restart or reboot. Once you do that, then you will be able to go back into the control panel, which would you go to the start button and then go control, um, control panel. This time, go under system and maintenance. Mm, no, yeah. Sorry, huh? I always forget that. Okay, and then go to administrative tools. Then you'll be able to see the internet information 
services manager console here you can double click this link to long, launch the um, program or you can right click and create a shortcut and once you click there then you'll tell it to create it to your desktop of course and then that way you can easily get to it that's how I have the desktop shortcut on my computer so anyways so this is the Internet Information IIS Services Management Console. I'm going to double click it to launch the program. It's asking me for permission, so I say continue. And <clears throat> over here under connections on the left side, you can click the right arrow button and see the sub items within. And the sites is the folder that you want to look at. It has a default website. And as you can see, I have created and started started to create an internet website for GIJaneSDL.com. Anyways, there's more information online. Um, Google search is an awesome search engine to find additional information. There are also a million and one videos on YouTube, I'm sure, of information that you need for IIS Management Console. I hope that you enjoyed my video. Thank you. Goodbye.